Крым не является никакой спорной территорией. Crimea is not a disputed territory. There was no ethnic conflict there. And Russia has long recognized the borders of today's Ukraine. This is how Kremlin dictator Putin spoke about the territorial integrity of Ukraine and possible Russian aggression against it in 2008. However, after six years, the rhetoric changed. After another lie that there were no Russian troops on the peninsula, the president of the Federation nevertheless admitted the opposite. Of course, our military personnel got there. They acted very correctly. February the 20th, 2014. From this day, the history of the seizure of Crimea by Russia begins. On this day, active movement of Russian military personnel begins on the peninsula. And on February the 26th, pro-Russian people gather in front of the Crimean parliament and demand a referendum. They are opposed by pro-Ukrainian protesters. Thanks to their actions, it was possible to postpone the parliamentary session. That same night, unmarked Russian soldiers blockaded the parliament and government buildings of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea. And on February the 28th, the Crimean parliament holds an illegal meeting at gunpoint and the current government is dismissed. The new occupation administration is headed by Sergei Aksyonov. At the same time, the Supreme Council of Crimea votes for holding a so-called referendum on the status of the peninsula and Aksyonov turns to Putin for help. Moscow. Moscow was in a hurry, because at that time Russian troops had already filled all the highways of Crimea. They were driving around the entire perimeter of the Crimean coast. It was obvious that there was an open-armed seizure of Crimea, and therefore they should have been formalized by the Kremlin as quickly as possible. And on March the 6th, the final date for carrying out the action, which they tried to call a referendum, even then was already adopted. On March the 16th, a pseudo referendum was held on the annexation of Crimea to Russia. Then Moscow said that allegedly 95% of those who voted expressed a desire to join the Russian Federation. The next day, the occupation administration declared the independence of the peninsula and a day later signed an agreement on joining Russia. Within two years after the annexation of Crimea, the Federation significantly increased the number of weapons on the peninsula. They brought in heavy equipment as well as thousands of soldiers. Analysts have concluded that the main goal was to turn Crimea into a militarized zone. The number of air defense, missile defense and radar posts on the peninsula has increased significantly. The Kremlin built anti-sabotage lines in the illegally occupied Crimea, restored airfields, concentrated a large number of aircraft there and new warships also entered ports. They built an anti-aircraft defense, bought new S-400 air defense systems, built an anti-ship defense system, concentrated mobile defense systems like Baum and Onyx. The main initial task was to turn Crimea into a large unsinkable aircraft carrier, a projector of power on the Black and Mediterranean seas and the Atlantic Ocean. The Russian-occupied peninsula played an important role for the Federation in its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Many missile attacks were carried out from Russian military bases located in Crimea. Also, warships entered Crimean ports, blocking the maritime economic zones of Ukraine and shelling Ukrainian peaceful cities. Thanks to control of Crimea, Russia could also influence our forces if there was any resistance there. Plus, all missile attacks were launched from the western coast of Crimea on positions that could resist the Russians. A lot of equipment there was destroyed in the first days of the war. The ships that were based in Crimea actually blocked the approaches to the northwestern part of the Black Sea from the first day and closed our ports. During 10 years of occupation, Russia has never achieved international recognition of Crimea as Russian. The civilized world fully supports Ukrainian sovereignty, including the temporarily occupied peninsula. Even the Federation's partners, Iran and China, do not dare support the Kremlin in its territorial ambitions. State authorities have repeatedly stated that they respect the recognized borders of Ukraine. The attitude of the international community has changed in that almost everyone has realized that any other forms of interaction with Russia in order to achieve its return to the framework of international law are not viable, and the only option left is to coerce Russia. 
Among such ways the Crimean Platform Forum is highlighted, it has already been supported by more than 60 states, including countries in Europe, America and Africa. The official goal of the platform is the peaceful end to the temporary occupation of Crimea by Russia and the restoration of Ukrainian control of this territory in full compliance with international law. However, participants in the Crimean Platform have already directly noted Kiev's military support in the context of the liberation of the peninsula. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Nikita Skoblikov, UTV News.